in this video we'll continue with our discussion on pgp communities like if you remember in our previous scenarios we have discussed the pgp communities is a method of adding the tag to specific routes and based on that tag the routes get advertised along with that community information and now the remaining routers the upstream routers can either do path manipulation and they can decide what is the preferred exit path to go outside their autonomous system number by using local preference or weight or we can also do some path filtering or route filtering where we can also tell that do not advertise this value whatever is coming with that community value should not get advertised to any of the neighbor now there are two ways or two reasons to use pgp communities now in this section we'll continue with our discussion we'll try to understand pgp community types so majorly there are two categories of pgp communities the first one is well known predefined community attributes and then we can also define our own attributes now when you say predefined means now we already have some community attributes defined and the behavior is also defined like what exactly they do is predefined okay so predefined but whereas in our communities we are going to decide what exactly uh, upstream router has to do with that community attribute but whereas when in the predefined attributes what the upstream router has to do with that community is already defined let us try to understand the first well known predefined attributes and then we'll get into our own community attributes also now there are majorly four categories of predefined well known communities we have something on no export no advertised internet and local as so four attributes so when you say no export let's take an example i'm going to match 10 dot network and i'm going to add the community value with no export okay so whenever you say no export whenever a router receives any network with community value of no export it will not advertise that particular route to any of the ebgp peers you can see no export means it should not advertised to its external bgp neighbor but it will advertise to all the routers within the same autonomous system neighbor which means now this router receives it it will advertise to each and every router inside the same autonomous system number but that update will not be advertised to any of the external external autonomous system number so that is what we call as no export do not advertise to external bgp peers but still it will advertise to internal peers which means it will keep this information or that particular route will be advertised within the same autonomous system number now the next attribute we have no advertise so when you say no advertise it will not advertise to any of the internal bgp neighbor and also it will not advertise to any of the external bgp neighbor which means so i got a router which is connecting to internal routes as well as external neighbor now this route will not be advertised to any external bgp neighbor also it will not be advertised to any other router within the same autonomous system neighbor okay so now the difference between these two is this will not be advertised to outside the as but this will not be advertised to outside the as as well as inside the as so that is a basic difference now when when we use another attribute called internet internet is a default community attribute which generally by default it will advertise to each and every router it will advertise to internal bgp as well as external bgp now any router by default belongs to this community because by default bgp will advertise it receives any route it will by default advertise to any any router it can be internal or it can be external and then we have one more attribute called local as now when 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 a router receives any network with local as attribute it is going to advertise to only the internal routers nothing but to all the routers inside the same sub autonomous system number now if you remember we we have discussed now probably if you are not aware of bgp configurations i have discussed that bgp configurations in a separate section now bgp configurations is a method of creating the big autonomous system number into small autonomous systems we call them as sub autonomous systems now if any router receives an update with local as it will advertise to all the routers within the sub autonomous system number but it will not advertise to any other external sub autonomous system number especially applicable in pgp configurations now these are well known predefined because the the definition is defined here you know what exactly it has to do it is something defined already 
we are not going to do anything we are just trying to use it now when this kind when when this is more applicable is let's take an example this is my service for a router now you may you may come across a scenario where you you are receiving some network fire or network and you want this network to advertise to a service forwarder but this network should not get advertised to any other customers let's say these two are different customers now what i'll do i'll add an attribute called no export when i say no export it will be advertised to all the routers inside the same as but not advertised to any external autonomous systems so in this kind of scenarios we can use no export now when we use no advertise now you can you may come across a scenario where you are advertising some prefix to service portal or to another another autonomous system number and you want to ensure that this advertisement should not get advertised to any of my internal bgp neighbors also should not get advertised to any external bgp neighbors now in this case what i can do i can simply say no advertise when you say no advertise it will not be advertised to any internal neighbors also it will not be advertised to any external neighbors so so it's more it's a easy way of uh, tagging and also easy way of filtering the bgp updates so there are many other ways like you can use acls prefix list to filter the routes but uh, we can also use the bgp communities to filter the routing updates by using this predefined well known community attributes so the next thing we'll see the second category of the attributes we have something called our own communities so when i'm saying own communities means what i'm going to do is i'm going to match a specific network and i'm going to define my own value so i'm going to say community value 200 which means this number it, it doesn't have any predefined behavior now it's up to my requirement so what i can do is i can advertise with a to all the routers and now this router can decide what it has to do with this community value of 200 whether we want to do some filtering or you want to advertise or you want to apply the local preference or you want to apply the weight whatever so i am going to just tag my routes and and it's it's up to you or it's up to the upstream router to decide what exactly to do with that specific routes so now to define your own communities it's a 32 bit number which means you can use the range of 2 to the power of 32 it's a big range of numbers you can use now there are two ways of defining your own communities the first method is the old method where you can use any number in between this range so it is actually a old method of add tagging the routes any number you can use i can say 100 200 300 400 any number so nowadays most of the new ios supports a new new method of tagging the routes where you can define in this format you can say something called 500 colon 10 so this is your 16 bit this is your 16 bit mostly your first 16 bits defines your autonomous system number from where the routes are originating maybe the customer autonomous system number and in that customer autonomous system number you can use any number defined so this is a new method of tagging the routes now still the older method is also supported now in case if you tag with this new method let's say i have created a route map and i have given set community 500 colon 10 by default most of the ios will still get back to an older method only now if you want to change to new method there is a command called ip pgp uh, community new format there is a command called community new format command once you apply that command then only the ios will start using the new format of tagging but in today's networks i generally go with this new method of tagging but still you can also use the older method of tagging also so it is 32 bit value which can be used to tag a specific routes and it's up to the requirement what you want to do with that 